balance these uh, reactions. So if you can add and use a periodic table, you are set. So to have your periodic table handy, all you need to do uh, is be able to add and subtract what you see. So 88 is 86 plus, well, it has to be 2. So 86 plus 2 is 88. 222 plus 4 is 226. What is that? That's alpha. You could also put helium 2 plus. Either one. But you'd have to know that's, that's the alpha particle. Let's try the next one. This is tritium, an isotope of hydrogen. Uh, so 1 plus uh, something is minus 1. That would be a 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 3 plus 0 is 3. What is that? That's according to your periodic table, so you look up 2, that's helium, it's an isotope of helium, can be stable, uh, and uh, so it's not an alpha particle though, it has to be 4 to be alpha particle. Okay, let's look at the next one. Uh, 10 plus 1 is 11, 22 plus 0 is 22, uh, what the heck is that? That's a positron or a beta. So it's the uh, opposite and the antimatter of an electron. It's an electron with a positive charge. Okay, let's try the next one. Gamma, I didn't give it to you, but you need to know is 0, 0. So this has to be 27 and 60. Basically, this is a transition state of cobalt going down to just regular cobalt pretty typical when there's an excited state of a nucleus, it uh, can give off a gamma particle and just go back to its more stable stuff. So this little hash mark here means transition state. Okay, next one, 26 plus 1, that's 27. 52 plus 1, that's 53. Uh, what's that? That's on the cobalt. That's right up above. Another isotope of it. And then the last one, 53 plus 0, 53. And this has to be 136 plus 1 equals 137. It's still iodine again. Any questions on any of those? So hopefully it feels somewhat straightforward. <laughs>